Welcome back to the Wix Sampler Tutorial Series. Today I'm going to show you how to use Velo to collapse an element on Wix. So we have this strip down here that is full of images of logos. These logos don't apply to what I'm using because they were part of the theme. And so I don't need to have that display on my website. Now I might want to use this strip later and so rather than deleting the strip off the website, I'm just going to collapse it so it's still available in the editor, but it doesn't display on the published website. Now, if we want to do this on the desktop mode, it a, takes a little bit more steps than it does on the mobile view. Let me show you really quick how to do it on the mobile view because that's super easy. Let's go ahead and switch to mobile. And we're going to scroll down here and click on our strip. Okay, so if you want to hide something in the mobile view, all you have to do is select the item and then click on hide element. And you can see now it just has the strip above and the strip below bumping up together. And we're gonna go ahead and delete this little bit of extra space. There we go. Bumping up together and that element is hidden. And then if you want to see what elements are hidden, you can go over here on the, has on the left, you can click on the icon with the eye and it'll show you all the hidden elements on your page and you can click on any of them and show them again. So really easy to manage on the mobile view. On the desktop view, we need to use the developer mode. So let's go up here to the developer mode and we're gonna turn this on. So click on turn on dev mode. And when this first gets turned on, we have this code right here that shows up. Now Velo is a version of JavaScript created by Wix. And so anything that you want to make a comment to yourself to just has two slashes in front of it, just like you do in JavaScript. And then this is our onReady function. So I'm gonna show you how you find the code you want to use for Velo. Velo has their own API reference. So here is the website for that, it's just Velo Reference. And you can go search for any functionality that you're wanting over here in the search bar. So we're wanting collapse. And let's just go click in there, type in collapse, and it'll bring up all the options. So here's collapse right here. We're gonna go ahead and use that one. So if you click on the item you're interested in, then it will give you a description of how that works and the code that you would need in order to do that. So the first thing you have to do is you always have to get the element. This is how you get an element in Wix. You do a dollar sign, a W, the open and closed parentheses, open and closed quotes, and then a hashtag and whatever your element name is. So I'll show you the element names in just a second. And then a dot, and then the code for whatever you wanna do. In this instance, we wanna do dot collapse. And then there are different things you can do along with that. So we could do a dot then with it and have code that continues after an item is collapsed. Or if you want to collapse and expand something like if you have a button and you want a strip to open and close, depending on when you click the button, then this is the code you would use for that, the expand and collapse. So if it's collapsed, it would expand or else it goes and collapses again. So really easy to toggle things that way. Let's go ahead and go back to the editor. And first thing we need to do is we need to get our ID. So you click on the item that you want to have the code apply to. And you can see right next to the strip, it says hashtag column strip two. So that's our ID. And then down here in the developer code, we can also see right here, it has ID column strip number two. Now I like to rename what Wix usually gives the names. I like it to be a little more obvious. So I'm just gonna name this logo strip. And then what I want to do is I just want to click on collapsed. And so that's what you need to click on to collapse an item if you want the default value to be collapsed. Let's go ahead and look at preview now and see how that works. Okay, so now we can see that section is gone. We've got the section above with the management system slider and we've got the section below to ask for a consult. So we've successfully collapsed an item. Now when you go back into your editor, you can see that this element has 
diagonal lines all across it. That is your indicator that an item is collapsed and it's not going to show up on the published website. You can still alter it. You can still change things. You can still move things. You can change columns, you know, whatever you would want to do to it like normal, it just won't show up on the published website. So that's the easiest way to go ahead and collapse something is to take the largest item, so in this instance, the whole strip, and then just click on dot collapsed. There's also the second way, which we saw in the code. So we can go ahead and get our element by ID here. And as soon as you start typing with hashtag, it will give you all the options for IDs that are on this page and element with each element. So we're going to go for a logo strip, do the dot, and then you can see it gives us all these function options. There's collapse, collapsed, columns, expand, hidden, um, lots of different options we can do. So we're going to go ahead and do collapse. And then at the end of those, you always need to put your open and close parentheses and the semicolon. So this is the other option for how to go ahead and collapse an item is to do a dot collapse. So that is how you go ahead and collapse an item on Wix so that it is still in your editor but doesn't display on your website. If you like this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see future videos and thanks for watching.